Here we are. Home sweet home. It's beautiful. <laughs> Wait till you see the inside. And look over there. We have an amazing view of the lighthouse. Hey, since we live near the ocean now, do you know what that means? <laughs> what? It means I get to go fishing anytime I want to. I knew you were going to say that. And we can have picnics out here while enjoying the view. That sounds lovely. <sighs> Looks like I have to get used to the new life of not being a wrestler anymore. <laughs> yep. Luke the Machine Gun Thompson is officially retired. <laughs> <laughs> I did it because of you, Michelle. I know. It was your decision, remember? And immediately I just agreed. <laughs> <sighs> Come on, let's go get our stuff. Luke! Hey Luke! Luke! Well I'll be damned. Randy Morris! How you doing buddy? It's so good to see you. I'm doing good. I was just running some errands, that's all. Is this your day off? Or did they forget to put you back on the match card again? <laughs> no, my days in the ring are now over. I'm officially retired. What? No way! What made you want to retire from pro wrestling? Oh, I just got tired of being an animal in someone's circus, that's all. But mostly I just want to spend more time with Michelle. Well, I wish you nothing but the best for you and your wife. Thank you, Randy. Hey, there's a bar that just opened up in town and it's not far away from here. What do you say? Want to go for a drink? Sure, we can go right now. I could use a little homecoming beer myself. <laughs> Alright, and the drinks are on me. Well, I'm happy to hear that. Come on, you can ride with me. Two beers, please. Hey Luke, the guys are playing craps at the pool table. Come on, let's try and win some money. Go ahead, Randy. I'll be there in a second. I'll bet you that I'll roll a six. You're wrong. I bet it'll roll one number higher. Randy, give me the dice. No, no. I've got it. Randy. Watch. 
close, but no cigar. Shit! You got a problem with me, boy? As a matter of fact, I do. I saw the whole thing. So what? I saw the switch. You're using a loaded dice. Don't know what you're talking about. I always play fair. Really? Well, let's find out. I bet you that I'll roll a seven. You ain't rolling, boy. Luke, why don't we just let it go? No, Randy. Let's give it a shot. This guy over here thinks I'm stupid. Watch. The dice are rolling on seven. Now, how about you give me my money and we'll call it a night? You can go fuck yourself, because I'm not paying you shit. Come on, Luke. Let's just get out of here. Oh! Randy! Randy, you all right? Randy. Ugh. Hi, Michelle. Hey there. Luke. Gabby. How are you doing? You feeling any better? Yeah, physically I am. I'm afraid I can't find the men involved on the incident. Neither can the state police. They can't just vanish. Well, it happens all the time. And listen, the scuffle you got into over at the Yellow Jack Inn. There's not a single witness in there that saw it your way. My friend Randy Morris did. He was there with me. Oh, come on, Luke. Nobody's gonna believe the truth that comes out of his mouth. Nobody's gonna take him seriously. Well, I do. Well, if that's your case in evidence, then you have nothing. I got a chest full of stitches. That's all you got, so you better off on counting your blessings and drop the case. Like the hell I will! Luke, stop! All right, Luke. Do whatever you want. It's your funeral. 
Bennett. Hey, Bennett. I knew you for a long time. I always thought you walked tall. Looks like you gotta learn how to crawl. Hey, Gabby, what about you? You're just gonna let him throw me in a hole and bury me? There's nothing I can do about it, Luke. He deals the card. I just play the hand I get. Then go find yourself another game. Gabby! Get over here, now! There it is again. What? System. You live my way, or you don't live. Everybody get out! Now! Luke Thompson, you're under arrest. Wait, for what? For assault and battery. Gabby, cuff him. I'm sorry, Luke. Why, Luke? I, I don't understand. What happened? He took care of his business at the Yellow Jack Inn. I'll be all right, Michelle. Take him away.
All right, listen up. I only have two important rules that you must follow. Rule number one, we enforce the law equally. Rule number two, anybody here that takes a bribe from a suspect is going to get their head knocked off by me. And don't you forget it. Sheriff, we just got a call about a multiple death case surrounding unlicensed liquor. Where at? They say the liquor came from an area called Stab City, near the west coast of the Alamo Sea. There's eight counts, and the remaining survivors are hospitalized. I'll take care of it. You're under arrest for carrying unlicensed liquor and manslaughter. Eight counts. All right, get up. You trying to rob me or something? Mr. Thompson! Mr. Thompson! I'm so glad you can make it. What's this about? Well, first off, let me start by introducing myself. I'm David Whitney, and I'm a motion picture producer at Vinewood Studios. Now, I've seen many news reports and read so many articles about you. <laughs> I was very fascinated on the story of how you retired from professional wrestling to becoming the sheriff of Sandy Shores. With that being said, I'd like to talk to you about making a movie on your life. Wait, really? A movie about me? That's right. I don't know what to say. I think that's going to be a very big decision for me to make. If you agree to do this movie, Mr. Thompson, the director would want everything to be filmed exactly the way the events happened. Well, look no further. This is where it all started for me, right here in this bar. I see. Look, I'll agree, but under one condition. I get to write the script to tell the true story from start to finish. If I can do that, then tell the director that he got his movie. Since we don't have an actual script just yet, I believe we can make that official, Mr. Thompson. Also, the director of the film wants me to tell you 
that if you want, you can play as yourself in the movie. You know what? I'll do it. Then it's official! We have our movie! Alright, well, I'm gonna go home and get something to eat, and then I'll get started on that script later on tonight. That sounds like a plan, Mr. Thompson. Well, it's been a pleasure discussing business with you. We'll give you a call when everything is arranged. Sounds good. Mr. Whitney, it was nice meeting you, and I'll see you again soon. Have a good night. And it was nice meeting you, Mr. Thompson. You pay the price for every choice you make. And sometimes right can hurt you more than wrong. But you can't do the choosing by the pain. 